It was when I was working on this picture, I thought I'd, what I'd really like to do is bring the detail out of the smoke here and in the clouds and, of course, with the planes themselves. And yeah, I know there's various plugins you can use for bringing out details, but sometimes you can do the same sort of job in Photoshop as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to record it as an action, which will just give us a little bit more flexibility. Right, so let's take a look. There it is. You can see it's in layers, just clicking on the top layer of the layer stack. The next thing we're going to do is come to the Actions panel. There it is there, showing us the various sets or folders, but which are called sets in action. If you haven't got this open, if you go to Window, if you drop down, there it is there, Action. Click on that and that'll open it. Right, we're going to drop down, we're going to click on this icon here, which is going to open our new action. It's asking us for a name. I'm going to call this detail. And there it is. Right, where are we going to put it? Now, in the set, from here, you can select all the various sets. I'm going to put it in my workflow set, which is this one. And as soon as we click record, you'll notice the way it's burst into life, and you can see detail there, and you can see the little red light on. Everything we now do is being recorded, but don't worry, it is not real time. You don't need to rush this at all. Right, let's come back to our layers panel. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a new empty layer. We're going to click on this, in it goes. Next, we're going to hold down the Alt or the Option key, go into Layer, dropping down to Merge Visible just off the screen. Now that's merged all these layers here into this one new layer. We're going to double click on Layer 1, we're going to call this Detail. Now there's reasons for doing this. In the real world you will be using layers and all the other bits and pieces and if you've already got a layer 1 and you've got a it's thing called layer 2, 3, 4, etc, etc, when you're using actions it tends to identify the name of a layer. So by a name of detail it's now allowing the action to identify things and to move forward as we'll find out. Using command J, control J, we've now duplicated our detail layer. So we've now got detail copy. Right, drop your cursor down where it says Detail. Press Command or Control, click down, so both are now highlighted. With both highlighted, it allows us to use another shortcut. That shortcut is Command G, that's Command or Control, and the letter G, and that's now put it into a Group folder. It's gone to the Pass-Through Blend Mode. Now, the Pass-Through Blend Mode allows you to see through the folder to the layers underneath. But you can change this, and we're going to change it to Overlay. Let's come and take a look. There's our various layers. We're going to click on the top one here, our detail copy, and we're going to come to Image, Adjustment, Invert. Command I or Control I is the shortcut for that, and you can see it gives it a pretty strange look. But we're going to change the blend mode again. We're going to change it to Vivid Lights. Now at this stage, it looks exactly the same as the layer underneath. The magic happens when we come to Filter, Blur, when we drop down to Surface Blur. Now when Surface Blur opens, there it is, just pops into place. What have I got there? I've got a radius of 22 and I've got a threshold of 22. I tend to keep the figures on this both the same. I'm just going to come in. I'm going to take this up to, let's take it up to 25. And notice the way this has been highlighted. I'm just going to type in 25 on that and I'm going to click OK to that. I'm waiting for this to work through. Now. I like what it's done with the smoke, I like what it's done with the planes, I like what it's done with some of the clouds, however, I don't like other areas. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the group folder, I'm going to click on the mask, so it's now applied a layer mask to this, and where it says group 1, we're just going to double click and we're going to call it detail, so we know exactly what's on this particular group. Okay, let's fold this up out of the way, and we can now come to our actions panel, and we can now click stop. So let's just take a look. If we come to our Actions panel, there it is there, Detail. These are all the various adjustments we made. And as we begin to work our way through, you can see there it is there, Surface Blur. This is, if I click on this little sort of uh, arrow, you'll notice there's the radius we put in 25, there's the threshold we put in at 25. But we can, of course, fine-tune it. We can click on this. This is now going to put in a toggle dialog on and off. What this will do is when we run the action, it'll stop it at this point here. When it reaches this point, it will allow us just to be able to sort of fine-tune it for the image we're working on. Let's just take a look. Detail, let's click Play. Through it comes. It now stops on Surface Blur. This is going to allow me, I can now fine-tune this. Let's put in uh, let's put in 20. I'm just going to press Tab on the keyboard, 20 again, and I'm going to click OK 
through that runs the rest of the actions going through there there it is job done if we come and take a look nice one right fold this in up out of the way and we can do exactly the same thing just click on the mask I've got my gradient tool and we can just come and paint out the bits and pieces and there it is that was working in layers how about if you've got an image with just a background layer? Well, exactly the same thing applies. We can just come to this. I can just click play. It's going to work its way through. You can see it's bringing out the detail with this. If I take this, that's 25. I'll tell you what, let's take this one up to, uh, let's go a bit mad with this. Let's go for 30. It's highlighted, 30. Pressing enter or return through, it's going to work. There it is. It's finished off with that. If we come and take a look, exactly the same thing. I can fold this up out of the way, clicking on the mask will just allow me, got my gradient tool, to come through and just get rid of that. I don't want it the detail coming out of the background. I just want it on the main part of the picture. So just removing the detail from there. You can see the mask working through. And there it is. So it doesn't matter if you're working away in layers. It doesn't matter if you've just got a background layer. It gives you the flexibility of being able to work through. And if you think you've gone a little bit over the top, don't forget, you can, of course, just reduce the opacity of this particular layer. But you can see the way that's just a great way of bringing out detail in a picture. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.